Brother, mashallah, behind the scenes, walhamdulillah. We have Brother Hamza on the far right, Abdullah, Hussein Abdullah. We have Abbas walking to his chair, inshallah. <laughs> and then we have Brother Sheikh Abu Huraira and George B. You guys know George, yeah? Alhamdulillah. So inshallah, I'm going to ask them to, to say some quick words of wisdom. Really hit it home with you guys, inshallah. Jazakallah khair. My name is Abbas Abdullah, and I'm just going to say a quick, short story. I don't know if you guys are familiar with this story. If so, just bear with me. Has anyone heard of the story, Don't Be a Donkey of Marijuana? Don't Be a Donkey of Marijuana. There was this famous sheikh, and he had two sons. One was Abdulaziz, and one was Marwan. His father had one simple request. He said, on Juma, I want you to bring me a donkey. So the first son of Abdulaziz got up, put on his jalabiyah, and brought his father a donkey. Marwan was chilling, kicking back. His father said, Marwan, what's going on? He said, don't worry, Abu. I'm going to have your donkeys for you. I get it after the Juma Salah. His father gives a kutbah. And mashallah, it was a great cookbook. So Marwan races to the doors. And then he asked the first man, my father gave the cookbook. What did you think about the, my father's cookbook? Oh, mashallah, alhamdulillah, it was a great cookbook. What did you learn? Oh, mashallah, alhamdulillah. He said, you know what? Stand right here. Stand right here. No. He asked the next man, what did you learn from my father's kutbah? Oh, mashallah, alhamdulillah's best kutbah. What did you learn? You know what? Stand right here. Pretty soon he had everyone. He said, Abu, I have your donkeys. They're right here. He said, oh, marijuana. I'm not talking about the donkeys with the two legs. I'm talking about the donkeys with the four legs. He said, Abu, you're way more intelligent than me. I didn't call them a donkey. Allah called them a donkey. And Surah to Juma, Surah 62. A lot of times, myself, we go to Juma, we listen to a lecture, we have a nice shape that gives us words of wisdom, but we don't apply them. And so for what I try to do, I try not to be a donkey of Marwan. And inshallah, with me telling that story, inshallah, you can Memorize that story, recall that story, so when someone else, especially of knowledge, is giving you some information to save yourself from a fire that's fueled with men and stones, you can apply action steps not to be a donkey of marijuana. My brothers are gonna say some words, Brother George and the Sheikh, try to apply what they're saying. Try to see how it's gonna benefit you. When someone's talking, how is this going to benefit me? Why are they saying this? Why did I just tell that story? And how can you apply that story in your life? Thank you for your time and thank you for welcoming me to your beautiful country. Go Canada. My name is Hamza Abdullah. This is my brother Hussein Abdullah. Uh, we play in the National Football League, the professional league in America. I've played for seven years. Hussein has played for four years. And alhamdulillah, we are going on a tour around uh, the country and now our one and only stop in Canada. Uh, just going and visiting the Muslim Ummas and the Muslim Masajids. And everywhere we've gone, you know, we kind of have one central message, a message that was taught to us by our mother. Uh, one for your brother, what you want for yourself. You know, I wouldn't be up here today if it weren't for my brothers here standing next to me and wanting me to succeed. 
So I would just challenge uh, each and every one of us, and for the sisters as well, one for your sister, what you want for yourself, to just try and be a better person. Try and really want for our brother what we want for ourselves. If there's one parking spot, spot left, you know, you're late for Jermaine, you see a brother, he's trying to go in there, and you could cut him off and beat him. MashaAllah, just say Bismillah and let the brother go. If there is a brother, he is falling down and he, he's falling down on hard times. Do we go in? Do we kick him down? No, we pick him up because one day that could be us or that could be us. So inshallah, you know, it's a very simple message. Uh, very well, we don't have very much time, but remember, one for your brother, what you want for yourself. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Hussein Abdullah and today at Juma, uh, Brother Shaddai talked about success. And I find it very interesting that we all look at success as what the media and the TV and what the musicians and the actors, what they tell us what success is. And it's amazing because he just showed us a clip of all these different stars and all these people that we aspire to be like, wanting to be like you. So here it is, us as Muslims looking into the dunya saying, I want to be like that guy, he's on TV. And here these guys on TV are looking at you saying, you know what, they have a purpose. I want to be like them. We're all looking for success, but are we looking for the right success? We want the ultimate success, which is Jannah. I talked to a brother, uh, a brother Amir, and he said, I've been to parties. I've been to numerous amount of parties, and you know what, they all end. Whether it be at midnight, 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., they all end. He said, I'm trying to make it to where the party never ends, and that's in Jannah. So inshallah, we all keep that as, that's our success is to make it to Jannah, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. Um, many of you have gotten the opportunity to uh, hear me speak and share my story as well as give uh, a very emotional, heartfelt uh, testimony of my um, embracing Islam. Uh, I just wanted to say that uh, this has been a very, very beautiful moment for me to be able to uh, come to Canada and be amongst the Islamic community. This is my first time amongst the Muslim community as a new Muslim and uh, you guys have all made me feel very, very good and gave me such a warm welcome. I want to thank each and every one of you for um, allowing me to share my story and uh, hopefully inshallah my messages and my story has touched you as a born Muslim, convert Muslim, uh, whatever. I just hope that uh, some of you have taken some of the things that I've said and applied it. I hope some of you have learned from my mistakes, especially the young brothers and sisters that uh, please don't try to embrace the lifestyle that I came from. And I hope that uh, many of you have taken the words that I've said and, and, and preached for the past week about embracing the young people and helping to do more dawah work. What I mean by that is staying later hours, uh, coming earlier and providing more opportunities for the young brothers and sisters to have more activity to be more involved as parents and, uh, and as a community of Muslims. But I just want to say thank you again. And I have learned so much from this Muslim community. This is uh, so huge for me as a new Muslim to be able to take a lot of the things that I've learned and, and apply it to my everyday life as a Muslim. So I'm learning from you guys as, as born Muslims and as an example. So uh, thank you for setting an incredible example as Muslims. And um, thank you for giving me the opportunity to uh, come and share my story again. And um, I challenge each and every one of you as Muslims to continue to practice the deen, continue to uplift the community as Muslims, and continue to look after our young brothers and sisters. And uh, please continue to keep me and the Abdullah brothers in your du'as, and I love you all for the sake of Allah. Thank you, Canadian Dawah Association, and uh, thank you again, brothers and sisters. Allahu Akbar. Said to Ibn Umar, one of the noble companions, he took him by the shoulder and he said, "Kun fi dunya ka abir sabil." Be in this world as if you are a traveler or just passing by. Speaking about the temporary, the reality of this world. And after the Prophet ﷺ told Ibn Umar this advice, Ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, began to say, 
If you reach the evening, don't fool yourself to think that you'll live till the morning. And if you reach the morning, don't fool yourself to think that you'll live till the evening. Take from your health before your sickness. Take advantage of your life before your death. Jazakumullah khair, my dear brothers and sisters. May Allah reward you all, reward our dear guests for coming out here and sharing their experience and wisdom with the youth. And inshallah, we now await the time to break the fast. Exactly. MashaAllah, we just we want to thank all the brothers. And inshallah, come and Obviously, you're gonna come and pray Maghrib. You know, if you're not, then you know, something's wrong here. But inshallah, when you guys come and pray Maghrib, we're gonna have a little gift for everyone, inshallah. So just come, inshallah. And really, we'd like to, if you guys ever heard of the Canadian Dawah Association, alhamdulillah, one of our most uh, popular programs is the Celebrity Relations Program. And in this program, we, we give Dawah to a lot of high-end people that are very influential. Like the Prophet Sallallahu used to give da'wah to like, you know, the kings and all that stuff. And so inshallah, alhamdulillah, when uh, Brother Lu and Napoleon and all these other brothers, they embraced Islam, a lot of people, they saw and they're like, you know, why is this person becoming Muslim? Well, you know, I thought Muslims were all, you know, like 9-11 and stuff. So alhamdulillah, the, the, the influence at the Canadian Dawah Association the, we, we actually brought over Mike Tyson to Umrah, a lot of the, the celebrities, Lou, Napoleon, uh, Freeway, I, Brother George, and inshallah, Canadian Dawah Association is also taking them to Hajj as well, inshallah. And also on behalf of Isma Canada and everyone, Jazakumullah khair for, for coming out to all the iftars, but I gotta implement something Hussein just said. We have all of these people here, alhamdulillah, but I want, I want the, the elders to be sitting on the tables and the youngins to be sitting on the floor, inshallah. Can, can we just switch that up, inshallah? So if, you, if, if you're able to sit on the floor, jazakallah khair. The, the, the first award, alhamdulillah, Brother George who came with us last week, Brother George who came with us last week, inshallah, alhamdulillah. Yeah, yeah, it's just, it's dramatic. I shall May Allah reward you increasingly. Takbir! 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 Okay. Hamza. Muslims everywhere, thank you for the inspiration you're bringing to them with your beautiful story and words of wisdom. May Allah reward you increasingly. Takbir! Takbir! One more, one more. All right, one more, guys. Now, now, Abbas Abdullah. Come on, man. We forgot about you, man. Mashallah. Thank you for all your hard work behind the scene recording this beautiful journey. May Allah reward you Im immensely and grant you the highest level of paradise. Ameen. Qul Ameen. MashaAllah. Takbir. MashaAllah. And once again, we'd like to thank everyone for coming out and the, the, the Abdullah brothers the, on behalf of Isma Canada and the Canadian Dawah Association.